Oda may have hinted towards another time skip happening very soon, but if you haven't read the latest chapter of the One Piece manga, I suggest you leave. In the latest chapter of the One Piece manga, chapter 1115, things have been ramping up and we're slowly seeing the unraveling of the Egghead Island incident. And just like the narrator told us, the events leading up to the Egghead Island incident started three months ago with York. And one thing I see that people confused about is this panel right here, with the sunny sailing away from Egghead Island. And the people are assuming that the strats got away scot-free altogether. But with the latest chapters and the narration, that's not the case. And the narrator tells us, the elders made the call to have Dr. Vegapunk assassinated. Cypherpol ID0 undertook the mission, but anticipating the counterattack by Vegapunks, the elders chose to make an in-person visit with the Admiral Kizuru for protection. The development made it clear that they were expecting war. And after everything we see on Egghead, war it is. But looking at the bigger picture, this is just another battle in the big war that is the One Piece world. So why do I think there's going to be a time skip? Because the Straw Hats are going to be split up yet again. And you're probably saying, there is no time in the One Piece story right now for a time skip. And that is true, but just like how the end of Wano had a 7 day time skip, we may get the same thing. As you already noticed, after every huge battle, there's always been a skip in time. And at the conclusion of every battle, another domino falls in the story that is One Piece. And this one narration box sums it up perfectly. The Navy's victory did not necessarily bring peace. Like Vegapunk told us, there's a bigger war happening. Because every time a domino falls, someone is trying to put things back in balance. Here's why the time skip will happen. First and foremost, it's because the Straw Hats are on a time clock. Right now, they're all trying to rendezvous at the Elbath ship. And with the Gorsei all trying to stop the Vegapunk's message, there's pretty much no hindrance to get there. Besides Marines, but mainly Workery with Luffy and Dorian Bragi. But as you can see on the map right here, they're all split up and they're all making their way slowly to the Elbath ship, this shore. But one thing's for certain and two things for sure, this broadcast is going to end soon. And when that happens, the Gorsei only have one thing to do, turn their attention to one person. Biggest catalyst in their world, Joy Boy, or Monkey D. Luffy. With yet another person, and in this case, a satellite sacrificing themselves for the Straw Hat, their escape is near. One thing Oda keeps showing us is the reactions around the world. And truthfully, the message that Vegapunk is broadcasting is something Luffy probably wouldn't care about, but has implications on probably all the Straw Hats. But mainly, Luffy himself, Zoro, Robin, and Frankie. Robin, for obvious reasons. Luffy, because he's essentially the main character in this story, Joy Boy. And Frankie is because of Water 7 an iceberg build an island that can float on water. Zoro because there's one thing he has yet to do. And that was what he said all the way back on Zo. I'll have the Samurai of Wano follow my lead in no time. Obviously now the Samurai has someone to look up to and that's Momonosuke. But I believe Zoro's connections and job in Wano isn't done yet but I'll save that for another video. But I will say this briefly about Zoro going to Wano. Yamato's current storyline and what we're seeing in the main story is leading right towards the Black Bear Pirates going to Wano. And this panel right here at the end of Wano. Do you know about the man who beat Kaido? I heard he's a warrior by the name of Joy Boy, right? But apparently he's already left the country. Oh, I wish I could have seen him, a hero rivaled by only the god of the blade. Zoro's goal, yes, is to become the world's strongest swordsman, but also for his name to reach the heaven. To do that, I believe he has to be seen as such by the renowned samurai of Wano, obviously where his lineage lies. And Oda tells us right here, the ancient weapons that sunk the world 800 years ago still exist today and await the moment they will stir once again. World Pinoglyphs are important, but with Vegapunk's message now, the battle for the ancient weapons is among us. That's where Yamato cover story is leading with the Black Bay Pirate. The straw splitting up may indirectly affect those battles for the ancient weapons. But even if they do split up, some will go to Elbath, but eventually they will rendezvous at Elbath. And now for the most blatant hint that Oda probably gave us for the Strahd splitting up and there possibly being a time skip is this scenario here with Eustace Kid and this one with Trafalgar D. Law. Both of these mirroring exactly what happened to Straw Hats at the end of Sabaody. I know a lot of people already picked up on Sabaody and Egghead have a lot of things mirroring each other. We all know how Saba Odi ended. I mean, Odi even showed us the same pirate crew that imitated the Strats right after them coming out of the time skip. But the biggest cause for the Strats actually spitting up was because of Nose Jiro the Gorosei themselves. Him cutting punk records in half, he released all the Seraphim. But because of Vegapunk's message, he was distracted from his main goal. It's him disabling all the pacifista and him going after Bonnie. And he says this, and you gave this mere girl enough power to level an entire country. By releasing the Seraphim, he possibly aided Luffy and the other. Because two of the Seraphim can kind of act on their own. Snake still showing emotions to Luffy and S. Bear. Because remember what Vegapunk did, and I quote, Therefore, I inserted a directive into each unit that made to look like Kuma, so that even if the highest authority in the world should command it, even if the entire world should be your enemy, understand this, Bonnie, Kuma will always be on your side. Being all pacifistas that look like Kuma will always be on Julie Bonnie's side. And that includes S. Bear. So just how we saw S. Bear be able to use Kuma's power, Kuma used the rest of his sanity and power to go and save Bonnie. We may see Bonnie asking S. Bear to help the Straw Hats and her escape. Bonnie helped Zoro the first time with the Celestial Dragon and Kuma helped him escape on Saba Odi, the same thing may happen again. Bonnie does go to the revolutionaries, even though I do want to see her in Elbath, we may get to see Dragon raise another kid except his own. 